Hello class of 2025 and welcome back to school. Now that we've settled back into the classroom, we have a few reminders for you as well as some new information. We've added some important people to the counseling and core team and we have exciting updates about grading policies. First, let's introduce you to some important people on the sophomore core team. Your assistant principal is Wendy Hart, school counselor, Kari Sulser, STARS counselor, Saziana Tomian, Attendance Secretary Laura Quinn and Registrar Jordan Lancaster. If you have questions about academics or need to speak with someone regarding social or emotional health issues, feel free to reach out to your school counselor. Depending on a student's needs, a referral may be made to the STARS counselor. To report an absence for any or any questions regarding attendance, please contact our Attendance Secretary. Finally, questions regarding transcripts, please contact our school registrar. Each year, the counseling program evaluates the needs of students and designs a program to meet those needs. As a result, the school counseling program will focus on academic, social-emotional learning, and college and career readiness through individual counseling, class curriculum, and large and small groups. A really great resource for all things Brentwood High School is the BHS website. This is a screenshot of some of the topics covered such as daily announcements, monthly calendar, help with technology, how to pay school fees, how to enroll a new student, anything athletics, clubs, faculty contact information, and counseling department information, just to name a few. The site is constantly being updated, and this presentation will be added to the counseling section in the next few days. During your freshman year, you were focused on just learning how to be a high school student and finding your way. One thing we stress to students when they enter Brentwood High School is to get involved in school activities. This could be through sports, band, choir, drama, curricular clubs, or non-curricular clubs. The reason that we place such an emphasis on getting involved is that there is a direct correlation between academic success and extracurricular participation. Students that participate in extracurricular activities experience greater academic success than those students that just attend school. Continue to strive for academic success and simply do your best. In a couple of years, you're probably going to be applying to college and both extracurricular activities and grades are going to play an important role in the admissions process. Speaking of college, visiting college campuses is a perfect way to figure out what you like and don't like about a university. If you have an idea of some colleges you might want to attend, do research to find out what their admissions requirements are and make sure you're doing what's needed to meet those requirements. If you don't have any idea where you may want to attend college, a great place to start is by answering the college search questions on the College Board website. Finally, be sure to join the Class of 2025 Schoology group, if you haven't already. The Counseling Department posts important and time-sensitive information here, and you don't want to miss out. Each year, we like to remind students about graduation requirements. Counselors do a transcript review with students each year during registration. However, students need to keep track of their progress as well and notify their counselor of any concerns. Williamson County graduation requirements are considered university preparatory curriculum. In order to graduate from a Williamson County school, students must achieve four credits in English, four credits in math, and you must take math every year of high school, even if a student has achieved the four credits already. Students have to have three science cre credits, including either chemistry or physics, three social studies credits, including U.S. history and U.S. government and economics, one credit of lifetime wellness, half a credit in PE or weights, two credits in the same foreign language, one fine art credit, three focus area credits, and half a credit in personal finance. Let's take a minute to look at some new policies that are now in place. Prior to this year, middle school courses taken for high school credit were noted on the BHS transcript as pass or fail. The new policy goes to into effect this year and state that these courses will now be noted as letter grades and therefore will factor into the GPA. Students who wish to take an online course must first receive approval from their high school counselor and the approved online program is APEX. 
Students who enrolled in an APEX course prior to August the 1st, 2022 will receive a pass-fail on their BHS transcript, and those who enrolled after August 1st will receive a letter grade and the GPA awarded by APEX, if any. Any new students who transfer in online classes will also receive a letter grade and GPA weight. The Williamson County Grading Scale is probably the biggest policy change this year. The first table shows the previous grading scale. The class of 2025 will have grades on their transcript from their freshman year based on this grading scale. Beginning this year and going forward, grades will be based on the table in the middle, and this grading scale matches the HOPE Scholarship grading scale. The last table shows the weighted GPA scale. For HOPE Scholarship purposes, the weight will not be added to the GPA with the three points added to honors classes, four points added to dual credit classes, and five points added to AP classes will remain in the numerical grade. Now let's take a look at the honors diplomas, just as a friendly reminder. There are two honors diplomas offered in the Williamson County Schools, the Williamson County Honors Diploma and the Tennessee Honors Diploma. Students can receive the higher of the two, which is the Williamson County Honors Diploma, but they won't receive both. Counselors do not report this to colleges. It is not noted on the transcript. Students receiving an Honors Diploma are noted in the graduation program with a st and with a sticker on their diploma. In order to achieve the Williamson County Honors Diploma, students must meet the following criteria. Four credits of science, 14 credits of honors or AP classes, and a minimum GPA of 3.75. In order to achieve the Tennessee Honors Diploma, students must meet the ACT benchmarks listed below. English 18, Math 22, Science 23, and Reading 22. In addition to honors diplomas, Williamson County also awards two distinctions, the Tennessee Diploma with Distinction and the Work Ethic Distinction. Students can qualify for both. Again, counselors do not report this to colleges and it is not noted on the transcripts. Students will be recognized by a notation in the graduation program and with a sticker on the diploma or certificate. In order to achieve the Tennessee Diploma with Distinction, students must have a 3.0 GPA or higher and meet one of the following criteria. I won't read through all the criteria, but a couple of them would be um, be selected as a National Merit Finalist or Semifinalist, attain a score of 31 or higher on the ACT, attain a score of 3 or higher on at least two AP exams, and participate in one of the governor's schools. The work ethic distinction is mostly geared towards career and technical students. However, students on a non-CTE path may qualify. Students need to review the packet at the link provided to see if they score enough points to qualify. At Brentwood High School, we believe giving back to the community is important. In order to achieve the volunteerism diploma, students must acquire 10 hours of community service each semester since the start of their freshman year. There is a link provided where students can log their hours or students can find the link on the class of 2025 Schoology group. Please feel free to reach out with any questions. We hope you have a fantastic school year and go Bruins!